This video is for anyone who's ever wanted to aim high, wanted to do something big, but is scared of the temptations and the challenges that come with it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. It's Amin here with Sarah Masters developing the Muslim's mindset for success. Now, success is defined in many, many different ways, of course, and I always encourage you, the, my viewers, uh, who I'm grateful for following me and, and watching the, these videos now and then, um, I always encourage you to have your own goals. Don't define your goals based on what other people are pushing you to, to look at as success. So uh, in the mainstream, for example, success is often money, it's often um, status, you know, having the title manager, having the title, you know, doctor, etc. Um, it might be uh, marrying a certain person, it might be having a certain amount of kids. I encourage you to uh, define success for yourself based on yani, what, what you feel, um, obviously based on what is going to give you good in this life and the next um, and as defined as the Prophet etc as well but also um, defined by what you find you're in a position to do very well okay and everyone's position will be slightly different so success will be slightly different that's why you know some people they chase success by uh, uh, fame for example or having a big audience that might be success for other people they might want to operate in the in the shadows so to speak and uh, do great stuff there as well it all depends on your circumstances how you are and uh, ultimately there is an objective definition of success which is getting into Jannah uh, forever so keep that in mind as well um, but what a lot of people do uh, th there's a great in, in a way it's a great thing in the last you know I don't know 20 years or whatever um, it, I guess it comes from the idea of the American dream and stuff of aiming high and being ambitious and that has become a very big thing now if you look at social media if you look at you know there are whole YouTube channels there are whole Instagram uh, profiles or pages that are dedicated to ambition and success and etc etc with you know using these little clips of these inspirational speakers or uh, just these business gurus or whatever who are telling you aim high don't do this don't do that be ambitious <clears throat> okay now that you know that has its place and I'm saying that's welcome uh, to tell people to aim high um, my, my, if you look at my, a video I did over two years ago now um, I was telling people why being ambitious is very Islamic and uh, it's from a very different angle to those kind of guru people uh, talk talk about it's a different angle um, and in previous videos like what I've been saying recently is you have a duty to be ambitious because of the blessings you have you must answer uh, for how you've used the blessings you have positively now getting down to the meat of, of this video why I made it I encourage people to be ambitious and, and define success in a good way and then go out there and, and go big because you've got the potential to do it. Uh, you've got the blessings to do it. So you kind of got a duty to go out there and reach for it at the very least. Um, and some of the pushback that I get from people is I'm scared of the temptation that comes with it. Hey, look, if I want to bring solar power to, uh, let's say I'm from Mali, okay, Mali uh, in the, in uh, what's Sahel, do you say that in English? In the Sahel, okay, just south of North Africa. Um, let's say I want to bring solar power there so everyone's got electricity and they're just relying on the sun, okay? Let's say that's one of my goals. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to need, I'm guessing, at least a, a, a hundred million dollars or maybe a bit more than that, a bit less than that, just a guess off the top of my head. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to need that kind of money. What I get from people, pushback that people say is, I'm scared the temptations that come with making that much money and having that much money and will I be okay with it? Will the dunya overtake me, etc, etc. Which, you know, it's a noble fear to have. You know, uh, I think it was uh, Abu Bakr, he said that only a munafiq doesn't fear, uh, doesn't fear nifaq, doesn't fear hypocrisy for themselves, right? Um, so, that's cool to have the fear and it's healthy to have the fear and to realize that the dunya is... Uh, a temptation and the dunya can distract you from your main success which is purely just getting into Jannah which whichever way possible okay um, but I must push back on this point and this fear that people have and say the person you today and the person that makes a hundred million dollars and the person then then takes that money and then uh, uh, uses that money to bring solar power to Mali those three people are very different people and 
you're, you in the journey of going to make that kind of money, you're going to need to develop. Your mind is going to have to develop. Your spirituality, your connection to Allah is going to have to develop. Your daily routine is going to have to develop. Your relationships, your different skills are going to have to develop. So instead of saying, I am who I am now, I'm not going to change, I'm not going to improve, and therefore I can't reach for these high goals. Instead, what I'm encouraging you to say in this video is, I will inshallah reach that goal. I will make dua to reach that goal because I have a noble intention behind it. And I know there are going to be challenges, practical challenges, right? Uh, actually making that kind of money, but also the challenges and the temptations that come when you have that kind of money and it might be hard to let go of it and, and give it and all of that kind of stuff. And you need to say, yes, the temptations will come, but I, I, just as I'm dedicated to reaching that goal for the good intention, I'm dedicated to developing myself uh, to, to be able to be stronger than those temptations that come with it. And look, you know, the Prophet Sallallahu had, had I, I don't know if it's right to say he was tempted, but certain temptations and offers were brought to the Prophet Sallallahu You know, the Quraysh told him, look, this message you're trying to bring, just forget that, we'll give you everything that we've got, pretty much. Money, women, uh, uh, authority, uh, status, we'll give it to you all, just drop this. Now that is a temptation that just comes with being a prophet. It comes with spreading Islam. People are going to bring you tempting offers. Now is it right to say, no, I'm not going to spread Islam. No, I give up on this prophet thing. Okay, that's not right. What is right is to develop the fortitude, the strength, physically, mentally, spiritually, so that when they, those temptations come, you can fight, back, fight them back. If anyone that ever did anything that we look up to, all these people we look up to, when they started they were not the person they were when they got to that success that we look at and we post pictures about and we quote the, these people, they developed on the way there. So just because you might feel you can't handle the fame, you can't handle the money, you can't handle these temptations today, don't worry, you can develop towards that. And so again, yet again, with Sayyidina Masters, I'm giving you no excuses. You've got, I'm not saying you have to make $100 million and, and, and do the solar project in Mali. But what I'm saying is, whatever excuses you're giving yourself because you're scared of temptations, I'm wiping that out by saying, you need to start developing from today, spiritually, mentally, physically, to be able to overcome whatever challenges that are gonna come at you in life. Because trust me, even if you're a loser who has no ambitions, okay, and you're the type of person that says, oh, I, I just, just, just want to make it into Jannah, like only just. You also are going to get temptations. So why don't you aim high, aim for something great, aim to get to Firdos and fight the temptations that you're going to face anyway if you're not ambitious. Yes, wrapping it up. <laughs> Be ambitious in what you want to achieve and who you will need to become to achieve that. And you'll be okay, inshallah. No excuses. Sira Masters developing the mindset for success. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.